<laughs> so, sorry for the uh, past week or so. Things have been going up and down for us lately. Uh, but yeah, we got our furry mystery box uh, in recently. Uh, so we thought we'd uh, do that video now. Uh, also, I wanted to uh, congratulate Lionel on having his first successful panel down at Megaplex. I heard it, it was packed. So I look forward to hearing all about that. Uh, but yeah, Azurina, uh, let's uh, show everybody what we got in, in our box here. It's a box! Also, I could have swore it was supposed to be purple, but maybe that's the inside? Uh, I don't know. Or it could just be that we got some of the few boxes, uh, one of the few boxes that are still the old, original style. Look at that. Yeah, look at that! We're going to get the help what of... Is uh, what is this? I, I, I keep, you are just covering my eyes and asking, what yeah, is you, this? Yeah, you're, you're, you're yeah, like, what is this? And yeah. you cover my face. You're poking into my side. <laughs> yeah, all right. No, I, I'm only in one place. Yeah, I don't have all my feathers. It's so hot, so you're going to yeah. see some, some unsavory. That's part of the reason why uh, this stuff has yeah, been so hard to do. I'm going to fix this a little bit. Look at this professional setup here, all ready to go. First inning, it ain't easy in this in summer. It was 91 degrees, uh, like, Whoop. just a few days ago. I don't know what it is today, but, yeah. First inning in 91 degree heat, not, not fun. <laughs> so, yeah, let's, uh, let's get a look at what we got here. All right, da 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 Ooh. Okay, this one says, free to good adventure. And it's a whole, a whole mess of buttons. Let me see if we can maybe get all of these on display. Well, there we go. A lot of kitty cat. It's all kitty cat. Ooh, maybe that's the theme. Yeah, there's uh, what all it, these different you, kids. What does it say in the background? Knits? Hmm? What does it say in the card? Uh, knitting. Ah, there you go. They're knit, knitted kittens. An epic yarn. There you go. So you've got like a... Wait, uh, that's a Kirby a, game. Oh. Kirby epic yarn. Uh, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little upset about it's that. like a maid no, in a ball no, of yarn. No, taking somebody else's idea. There, there's, a, <laughs> there's like a, what is that? A, yeah, it's is a, that a seems, lunchbox? Uh, seems to be a lot of pins. Yeah, it's yeah, a lot more than usual. All these different characters. Uh, it's like a white mage and a black mage. And, okay. Uh, is there anything on the back? Uh, oh, there, nope. there is not. It is just the. Well, yeah, it's actually a faint version of what's on the front. And it is, it is not mirrored, so it's it actually. Is. That is odd. Yeah, so Interesting, too. All right. So it looks like all the characters get a button. All right. What do we got here? Ooh, okay, this looks now, like uh, this looks really fancy. Is it heavy? Furry? Nope, nope. It's very, very, very light. Okay. It says furries and fantasy, and I mean it's, it's like a retainer case. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean it's got a snap closure. Okay. Uh, well, put that off to the side. Like full leather. You want to? You can. You can right, uh, feel you that. Can you said you thing. wanted to feel that. Ooh, yeah. We will put that off to the side there. Yeah. Yeah, it's like some faux leather lined uh, uh, cardboard, it I'm is, sure. It is hexagonal. Okay, anyway. Oh, it's Final, a, it's a Final Fantasy. It's Dungeons and Dragons, but furries and fantasy. Oh. Ah, with a uh, and here is doggo with a sword. Yeah. There is a, a lanyard that has a bunch of the uh, things on it. Here you've got, uh, what is that, the doggo wizard? Uh, oh. Uh, you got, uh, like, a pony with a pink hair and a, and a nice gauntlet here, a sword, uh, what appears to be a wand with a crystal stuck in it. Wow, that's pretty neat. Fragments and stuff here, snap closure. And then we've got, uh, Ooh. this, uh, oh, dragon that fella. I was gonna say it kind of looks like the the image Sorry. on the, the box, but yeah, well, there you go. They look cool. Okay, and there is uh, this is it a uh, it's a rat with a broom. I'm sorry, it's another a mage. I <laughs> there you go. Okay, here is oh, and now here you go, more typical uh, dragon. Yay, an eastern dragon. Yeah, very cool. Oh, which I see your information card. Yeah, you can hand that card to me. Uh, I'll read that when you're done. Yeah, we'll get all the uh, 
Is this, is this a hairless a sphinx cat here? It looks like with a uh, some sort of crystal in their hand. And a little another little green dragon with another kind of. Uh, Ooh. It looks like one of those. What is it? The the die from Dungeons and Dragons. All right. Um, yeah. You want to hit the it's cards? Let's we'll take a quick look. Oh, okay, this is the thing that says what's in here. Yeah. So a lot of what we've looked Thank at you. here. Is it, is it, does this card come with most of them? I think we've seen this one before. Yeah, probably. Probably is like, hey, if you're new to Frame Mystery Box, here's what uh, yeah. we're about. It's about how to wash the uh, clothing on the one side, ah. which is very helpful. I usually just uh, go to wash. Yeah, yeah, that's what it does say some basic stuff. Uh, I will say this. You really have to go through the whole thing. But yeah, when you wash your shirt, uh, turn it inside out. Any shirt that has any sort of printing you want to preserve, turn it inside out before you throw it in the wash. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, look, that is, that is another button. It is, says wool for initiative. So these are the yes. die from... Uh, I thought maybe it was just a crystal that was meant to mimic the uh, appearance, but yeah, it's, it's the die. Roll for initiative. Roll for initiative! It's a pleasure to meet you! <laughs> okay. Uh, R.I.P. Gary Gygax. Degu Art. Yeah, that guy was, uh, he led a crazy life. It's, uh, a bunch of, uh, fantasy creatures. Ah. I like the Golden Dragon. This episode of Transformers with a Golden Dragon. So, apparently, this is a Furries and Fantasy dice case. Hold your favorite dice. It's set in this stylish leather dice case. Our subscribers get the rarest of our four designs. Here is um, another one of the. Now I don't know a lot about Dungeons and Dragons, but I do recognize oh, this. Is it? it is the treasure chest, which is this has been what? used in a few different things. It's the treasure chest that's uh, actually a monster. Do you, do you not know the the proper nomenclature? I really, like, I did I not just say I don't know much okay, about like, Dungeons and Dragons? I don't know much either, but I I know a mimic. So it's like. Yeah, I don't. It's, I've it's a never played. I played like one round of one game okay, ever okay. of Dungeons and That's Dragons. That's more than I've played. Yeah. I. That is literally every last thing it's I know about Dungeons not, and Dragons. That's not on here, as far as I can tell. And this is a mouse pad. It looks like an oversized mouse pad. That would explain why this box is especially heavy. Yeah, this is pretty damn cool. For one, not a wow. lot of people use oversized mouse. I use one myself. It's probably not a mouse pad. It's probably meant for playing. Oh, on. it's a gaming mat. Yeah, you're right. This is a uh, Dungeon and Dragons. You roll your mat. dice on that. So we've got. Or play uh, your cards on it. Oh, I like that. You've got all these um, anthropomorphic uh, characters here. All these different furries. But the wanted poster has like a human wizard on it. <laughs> See, this whole time I took off this. Oh, it's gone. Where's my hat? It disappeared. Oh, how did it get over there? I put it over there because it was Why? in the way. I had this hat go. the whole time that I was preparing the video, then I took it off because I didn't know what was in the box. I'm off camera. And it's like. There you go. It's so <laughs> Cursey, a St. Drew the Winter Wizard, who was here uh, streaming with us last Friday. See, there you go. See, there you go. There's a, a human character there. I mean, well, human-ish. They have uh, horns. You got uh, all the different, the bread, and there's this thing, uh, there's a cowbell with eyeball. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons, so. And I'm assuming it's just the, uh, like, black material on the back that yeah yeah it's just a black rubber no it's fine this is what you want yeah there. i mean i don't expect there to be anything back there but it yeah. thought i'd ask yeah this shouldn't yeah, so that good, feels like a good looks like it feels like a good quality it is it? pretty good quality <laughs> it is pretty good quality <clears throat> if i was in a dungeon and dragons i'd be totally stoked I mean, I'm well, nothing against I just don't know anything about I it. I do have a Rick and Morty Dungeons & Dragons set that I have yet to Here's open play. Okay, okay, you see this shirt here? We might as well switch to the main cam for this. Uh, Alright, so that's everything? Yeah, that is everything. Okay. 
Uh, uh... Lanyard. It's dangerous to go on a fantasy adventure alone. Take this lanyard. It's a deal for hanging your badge or other accessories. Art by Dark Chibi Shadow. Uh, Dark Chibi Shadow. Itchio or Itch. Io. Uh, oh, apparently that dragon was a postcard. No fantasy role playing quest is complete without adding a dragon. Does not credit the artist, so I'm guessing Sal Magundi possibly made that one. Uh, buttons, roll for initiative, go behind the scenes with these furry and fancy gamers. Uh, each of them has their preferred D20 for campaigns. Art by Ibis Monty. I'm gonna... Oh, and they did get my shirt size corrected. I went through, and uh, I've lost enough... Uh, since furry mystery box... Uh, gosh, I've been saying this in the wrong order. I have been losing weight since September of last year. Yay! Yeah, thank you, thank you. But the thing oh, is... Oh, it's been a whole year now. Yeah, yeah. And the thing, uh, the only thing about that is that I started Furry Mystery Box right about the same time. Mm -hmm. And as a result I, I, of losing weight, I have initially was like, hey, I know I'm getting the extra large. Can I get a large? And that was before my very first shirt, which had me on it. Oh, and yeah. I was like, it ended up being, I was like, oh, shoot, I ordered the wrong size, right? So I ordered the wrong size. Then I lost weight and ordered smaller sizes for future shirts. And I lost more weight. And I'm getting, few, uh, you know, change the size again. So I, this one actually, even though it was originally going to ship as a large, they did send me a medium. Awesome. I, I was able to get in contact. Uh, I always have issues using the website. They always say the feature's there, and I can never find the feature that's there that I'm trying to get help with. But We're, we're old. Yeah. <laughs> I, as much as I don't like to think that, you know, age yeah. means anything, sometimes trying to navigate certain things, can be daunting. Yeah, <laughs> yes, but they they all they also think, help. I also think that's also not just an uh, age thing. It's sometimes it's just a, a mental thing. Sometimes yeah, yeah. it's hard to get over. Also, the website has had some glitches uh, in my experience. Yeah, let's show it off. Show so it off. the the best one was uh, white text on a white background for oh, one of the pages. Oh God! Yeah. So here you go. That. There is uh, the characters for the, a bunch of fox characters. Uh, from what I could tell from the distance here, there is actually human. That's maiden. a lot of stuff going on there. Yeah. I think that might be like the most uh, I've seen on the front of a shirt, or is that there the back? Go. This is the back here. Oh wow! So Reminds both sides are fairly the, uh, active then. Like a lot of the fantasy shirts. Is the one you're on the the front is it's only one character. The yep. back is where there's a bunch of characters. <coughs> so anyhow, uh, t-shirt Foxcraft in a distant world. Wizards are fighting over gaining one another's powers. One wizard refuses to give up his powers so easily and releases the his magic essence out into the surrounding forest, bringing magic to the crystal tree that guards and protects a litter of kits. Art by Arrowcat. Uh, Poe Cat Comics, comics with an X, dot com. All right, uh, the playmat is Tavern Party. After a long, hard adventure with your party, there's nothing like a relaxing evening, sharing stories and drinks at a, the local tavern. Enjoy this large playmat for all your fantasy and other gaming needs. Art by Seeksy, S-E-E-K-S-I-E. -E. Art, Art Economy, that's A-R-T-K-O-N-O-M-Y dot com slash profile slash Seeksy slash about. Uh, the Magic and Monsters sticker sheet, an assortment of fantastical magical monsters. Art by Degu Arts, that's D-E-G-U Arts dot com. And lastly, button set, mittens, and epic yarn. This band of kitty misfits is cute, cuddly, and off on a mission to save everyone from the terrible yarn beasts who plague the world. So, yeah, pretty awesome. And I read the uh, thing earlier about the, this is meant to hold your dice. Now I don't have to keep them stored in a, uh, an M&M's minis tube anymore. I can just put them in here. Yay! I mean, it was getting it was getting so full. That I think the uh, the tube is actually cracked because I stuffed it so full of dice. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, thanks so much for your mystery box, uh, both for the awesome awesome stuff and uh, for being able to help Azurine with the shirt size issue. 
You know, I, for one, don't mind a uh, shirt being uh, overly <clears throat> sized. Uh, considering if I get a full suit, uh, I want to make sure I can wear it over the full suit. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that is the nice thing, that my older oversized shirts will fit over all my feathers. Although I hate to say, like, this one should fit a lot better. Um, I think I actually need to go smaller, too. <laughs> oh, no! Well, you'll have to try it on. I will out. try it on, to be sure. But eventually I'm going to, uh, you know, max out on uh, size reductions here. <laughs> I mean, minim minimize out. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to... so awesome. Yeah, it is really cool. It is really cool. There's a lot of reasons. You see me in these videos not wearing the shirts because... Uh, uh, well, actually, I could. I do have the feathers. I could wear the shirts more often. So maybe I'll do that. It's also future. really freaking hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to be going to see... Uh, uh, what's the name of that? Bullet, the movie Bullet Train. So hopefully we'll have a video talking about that at some point. Bullet Train. Your, uh, your lack of feathers is showing. Is it? No, it's not. <laughs> Uh, then, uh, we also have been watching a few other movies that, uh, we can, uh, get around to recording a review of them. I'd like to do, a uh, little, uh, random movie reviews, uh, video on them. Uh, but yeah, uh, we recently saw our, uh, Ezreen recently showed me John Dies at the End. Uh, spoiler, not spoiler. Toys on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, uh... I've also shown her uh, 1114 and Memento. So the we'll have maker. We'll, we'll have to uh, talk about those in another video. But until then, uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, uh, and uh, have a happy first Friday. And we'll hopefully see you tonight in uh, one or both of our streams, whatever happens. Not sure what we're doing. Uh, I streamed last night, uh, getting my dailies and weeklies and... Uh, no switch summer challenge is done. Uh, not sh again, not sure what we're doing tonight, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll we'll see you soon. Bye bye. bye.